I'm going to show you something real quick so you can get the attendance check right today. It asks, what do you got to do to find the, the point of intersection when you graph a couple of lines? So I'm going to call this line A, B, I'm going to call this line C, D, and I'm going to graph and label them. I'm going to find the point of intersection between these two lines. Let's give it a look real quick. Y intercept is negative 7. I'm going to go down there about to negative 7, right about there. Follow that slope up 2 and over 3. Just going to get pretty close. 2 and over 3, something about like that. Can I show that line? That line that's A, B right there. Get a good look at line A, B. And then we got this other line. I might call that one A, B. We got this other line C, D, and it has a Y intercept of negative 1 and a slope of negative 1 third. So I could go down 1 and over 3, or I could go up 1 and left 3. Kind of like getting that x-intercept if I could. I'm going to show the line through those two points as quick as I could. And now, my job is to find that place right there where those two, those two lines intersected each other. And <laughs> because this is just an attendance check, I'm going to tell you real quick what you do. You set them equal to each other. That would have been 2 thirds x minus 7 has to equal to whatever y equals here, negative 1 third x minus 1. Now let's go ahead and collect like terms on this. I'm going to add 1 third x to both sides. It gives me 3 thirds x minus 7 equals negative 1. I'm going to bring that negative x to negative 7 to the other side. I got 1x, 3 thirds x really 1x. Adding 7 to both sides, I got 6 over here. So now I'm thinking that x is equal to 6. Yep, that x coordinate had to have been 6. Now how am I going to get that y coordinate? Either one of these equations would give me that y coordinate, wouldn't it? I'll go with y equals to 2 thirds of whatever x was minus 7. Yep, this formula gives me y. I'm going to let next be 6. So that'd be 2 thirds of 6. 2 thirds of 6 is 4 minus 7. Yeah, that'd be a negative 3. So that place would be at 6 comma negative 3. So if anybody ever jumps out of a taxi cab and says, man, how do you find the place where these two lines intersect each other? You tell them, you set them equal to each other.